Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. In this video, we're going to talk about California here. They actually did something good. I am in favor of this. Under a new California law, which doesn't take effect till a couple of years from now, campers are being told to stop using disposable propane cylinders. So this was three days ago. I'm recording this on the night of October 1st, 2024. Right here, Newsom signs bill banning single-use propane Cylinders popular with campers. On Yahoo, campers told to stop using disposable propane cylinders under the new law. So this was uh, September 27th. This should have happened long ago. Look at this. 40 to 60 million single-use disposable propane cylinders are used every year in the United States. All of those basically just get thrown out. Actually, these articles say it costs $65 to dispose of each one of these properly. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. John Laird, the California lawmaker responsible for the bill, said for years, these propane cylinders have placed a great burden on our park systems, beaches, material recovery facilities, and local governments. He said the new bill would promote sustainable outdoor recreation. It says here that means that by January 2028, so yeah, three years from next year, only reusable or refillable cylinders can be used and sold in the state. So use. You can't bring in from another state. Like you're traveling down the coast and you brought stuff from <laughs> northern. No, 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 no. You can't do it. And this is very good. They say that it's particularly dangerous in wildfire prone California woodland. It says that single use propane cylinders can be a fire hazard when used without the correct precautions. So it's no surprise the bill has been supported by the California firefighters. You can't argue with that. I guess if they're contributing to, we all know what goes on there in California, it's, it's very scary. So this article says the cylinders are popular with campers, but have long been a headache for park rangers as they sometimes end up littering campgrounds and dumpsters in state parks after hikers head home. So just even day use people use them. Disposing of the cylinders properly can also be dangerous and expensive. Now, stores and businesses that sell the single-use canister have until January 1st, 2028 to phase them out. In California alone, between 4 and 7 million of the single-use cylinders are sold in California each year. So 40 to 60 in the U.S., 4 to 7 in California alone. The extra steps that the cylinders take because they're hazardous waste can run local jurisdictions up to $65 in disposable costs per cylinder. Because they're hazardous waste and can sometimes pose an explosion risk, waste managers have to use special equipment to empty the containers before processing them. $65. So it looks like you can get three 16-ounce bottles for 38 bucks. So that's $12.66 each, and or $12.99 right here. And those $12.99 bottles cost $65 to dispose of properly. And they're left for the local government. So it's not just campers, it's day hikers. In 2022, Newsom actually vetoed a near identical bill and he raised concerns about prohibiting sales of disposable cylinders without a plan for collection and refill infrastructure. He was concerned that you can't just take them away. You have to, uh, believe it or not, Gavin Newsom realized you have to have a plan. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but they're getting this refill infrastructure. And in this article, the other one, it says that places that refill larger 20 pound propane tanks, like gas stations and hardware stores, don't always have the adapter that's necessary to refill the one pound cylinder. So I guess it's going to take us three years to get an adapter. <laughs> okay, now that sounds like a government program. But <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that right now is why there's a, a waiting period here. But the campers are not even going to be impacted. What are they going to have to do? Go in, instead of buying a new one, refill one right at the same gas station that they're getting gas at anyways? 
So they won't even be impacted. And this Yahoo article says that, yeah, they have been linked to the starting of wildfires and create a huge amount of waste for the state. And waste is very expensive. I know when you put your trash out, it just goes poof and disappears, but not really. It's all very bad processes that create a lot of toxins and pollutants. So we have to stop all of this waste. And this is a very good idea. It should have happened long ago. So (laughs) I can't believe I'm saying this. Go Newsome. (laughs) I mean, okay. He did something good in all of his years in government. Stay tuned, people.